Hello everyone, it's Annette Green with Graphic 45 and today I have a recipe book to show you. I've used Graphic 45's new mixed media album. I've used the black one. They also come in craft and ivory. And I've used, of course, the Home Sweet Home collection in the 12x12. Uh, not to mention the Chipboard 2 in the Home Sweet Home collection as well. So let me take you through this book and give you a good idea of how it looks inside. Okay, so like I said, this is the mixed media album, and uh, my idea behind this recipe book, as opposed to some that I have seen, which are beautiful, but mine is to be used in the kitchen. There's no flowers on here, there's not a, a bunch of embellishment hanging off of it. I want to be able to slide this into my cupboard, I want to be able to cook around this and get it messy and wipe it off. So I have coated mine with Mod Podge. I used matte Mod Podge and I did several coats of that to coat the whole thing. And I did the back as well. So if anything gets on this thing, it's going to wipe nice and clean. So anyway, this is the cover as you can see. And I have used the 12 by 12 paper as I might have mentioned. I added some ribbon here, even coated that with the Mod Podge. And then the back is just paper that's been coated. So inside front cover, is just more of the papers, a thin strip here, and then this large piece and some more here. And then the inside back is just the skinny strip and the big piece because there's not as much inside here as there is on the inside front cover. Okay, and so within the albums, the mixed media album, come all these great assorted pages. So let me start with those. So as you can see, the first page is a black pocket page that has a tab on it. There are let's see, four of these tabbed pages and the tabs do kind of stagger. So this one is the tab is at the top and I've covered it with a little bit of paper. I made myself a little template so I could do the other tabs in the same paper. And of course this is a pocket and I have pulled in some of the 6x6 six six paper I may not have mentioned earlier but I used some of the patterns and solids here. These are cut aparts, this is a cut apart and then this is just a piece of ivory cardstock I used my basic Martha Stewart good old lace punch to create that little doily edge on the pocket. So the back side of the pocket page, similar papers going on, and then instead I have added a chipboard piece here with some twine and a cut apart here. Now the next page is an ivory page. Now, as you can see, this is a little square one, but that's not how they come. They actually come, let me see if I can find one back here. So they come, that's a vellum page. So they come this size regular size in the album. But I wanted to make it kind of uh, varied inside my album instead of all the pages being the same size. So I just cut off an inch from the bottom and the top and then a quarter inch off of this right edge. So you can see it's a little bit shorter and definitely not as tall. And so I made this little kind of interactive thing here with a cut apart that I kind of hinged with a little score and a fold. I used a piece of chipboard here so that swings out so this can come open and there's grandma's apple pie recipe. So that can swing back shut to hold that flap down and, it, and some more of that punched lace border. And on the back side same kind of deal and then I've made a pocket out of these papers just by adhering the three sides instead of all of it. So now you can slide some stuff down in there. Now this page is again one of those ivory pages, but instead, take a peek here. See that little frosty film there? That's one of those vellum pages. So I took one of the vellum pages and I just kind of folded it over so it straddles this ivory page. So it's created a pocket on both sides of the paper. So you've got this big pretty paper in here and you've got this little pocket. And then I used some of the 6x6 six six paper to kind of border out my little vellum pocket. Added a little chipboard tab there from the pack and that's done and you can see it flips over this little vellum pocket flips over to this side and so here we have some more chipboard and twine little cut aparts and more paper okay and the final style of page would be this craft page it's just the regular size page and inside the graphic 45 mixed media album come a whole set of these uh, adhesive photo corners and if you can see those yep Okay, so there they are. They're black and they're sticky backed. You just peel them up, stick them down. So these recipe cards, which are cut apart from the paper, I've just kind of popped them in there. I'm not gluing them down because if I'm going to make that recipe, whatever that is on that card one day, I'm going to pull that out of the book and put it on the counter and work from it. I'm not going to spread my whole book out before me. So that's why I don't have those adhered in. Now on the back side, 
because there's only an, a limited number of cut-aparts in the paper collection, I thought, well, I want to add a lot more recipes eventually. So what I did is I cut four by six cardstock pieces from just some ivory cardstock. And I created this little file in Photoshop that just says recipe and a line and a whole bunch of other lines. And that's all I did. And I fed it through my printer, just like I was printing four by six photos. And then I took my good old uh, Home Sweet Home stamp collection. I think it's Cling Set 1 that I used here from Hampton Art. And I stamped some of the images on my cards. And I can make as many of these as I want and add more later. Okay, and then as you can see, I go back to another black pocket page. So everything is just going to repeat basically, but just using different papers. So again, pocket page, pocket, same kind of embellishing. Back side, same deal. And then here's another one of those square pages. Okay, here's the little chipboard swing out, little hinged piece that reveals some cute little imagery under there from the cut aparts. Okay, and the back side of the square page, another little pocket full of goodies. There's another vellum pocket page with the chipboard tab, just like the other one. And it flips over to the other side of the vellum. More chipboard. Okay, and then finally another craft page. Same deal, right? And then the back side is again some stamped cards. Okay, so I do have all these other pages left right here that are part of the album. They come with the album. And I'm certainly going to do all kinds of stuff to those in the future. But for now, I thought, well, as I'm getting recipes, I'm going to have a place to collect them here. And they're going to be protected in a clear sleeve. So what I did is I went to the craft store. And these in particular are from Hobby Lobby. It says Snap Studio by Simple Stories. So I found them on the aisle with all the albums. And it just happens to work out beautifully with the two hole punches in the Graphic 45 album. So these are 10 in a pack, four by six refills, and they were perfect. So I just added a bunch of those in here for now, and I can use those when I start adding more and more recipes to my collection. Okay, and basically that is it. So I can't wait to finish it up and put all my favorite recipes in there, and maybe even hand this down to my daughter Jamie someday. Now, one finishing touch that I didn't mention before, I found these great little charms on alphastamps.com. And let's make sure you can see them really good. One's a little mini muffin tin, and the other one is like a fork, knife, and spoon. Aren't they cute? So I'm gonna hang those off the spine of my album eventually, probably coming down off of here so it doesn't get in the way when I hang it. I mean, put it back in the cupboard. So I'm thinking of some kind of hardware that's going to dangle from inside to the outside that I can attach those to. But I just thought those were super cute, and I thought I'd mention them to you. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the project, and I hope you give it a try. It's certainly a lot of fun. Have a great day, and thanks again for watching.